Hey guys, this is João. I have been working with this library. It's called Bubble Tea. It's a pretty nice library. It enables you to create terminal user interface and you can create um, some elements, some screen elements for your application and interact with. So you can have this list and the progress bar and things like that. And this can be integrated into your CLI application. So just to quickly onboard you on this uh, library, what's really important to understand is the ELM architecture. That's very simple. It's you have a runtime. That's basically your application. Your application is going to do something. This something it's the update, and the update is going to update something. And to update something, you rely on the model that holds your uh, application data and then after you update your application data you want to see this information on screen so on screen it's uh, related to the view part of the architecture so runtime update something this is going to update your model and then this is going to be rendered on screen that's basically what this act architecture is about and then going through a quick example and how to implement this uh, we are going to start it here so what we need to do is create the main function and then we have to create a t dot new program and the new program requires a model and model is where our data is so we need to create like a type for this model so we can call this like model and then we need to implement this um, this model so because model is interface that we need to implement so we can implement it in this way and then we can do like model and this stuff here we have to inference these guys here to tell this is the t bubble t types so we just have to go this way here and then we create like a, um, a very let's say a variable <laughs> not sure how to reference that we can create a name for your string and then yeah so just to start we can start very simple here and then return just new elements then going one by one one by one to understand better what this is doing so yeah so now we have our type but it's actually a struct this is expecting a model interface reference so for that we need to create something to initialize our values initial values and then return our type and then here we can return our model and then we are going to make new program function happy because we have this initial value that's returning the model type and then now we can uh, run our program when we run our program this is going to return the model and the error so we can do it this way to make it faster and then we validate if there is something wrong here if there is something wrong we just return and that's basically it. so I'm going to go step by step trying to explain a bit more in details what is happening here so we're going to call this uh, our program here it's going to new pointer because we are relying on the update to have updates for our application and when this update is called the first time is returned new it's like there is nothing to update there is no reference for the model because this update is expecting a model and some CMDs, like some action that we are going to cover later. So just to make, just to be able for now to make our application work, I'm going to return the model 
is the reference of our, our type here and then this is going to do something differently and this is going to block our application it starts i can say it starts but it's blocked it's not doing anything and if i type ctrl c for example it's not exiting because there is no mapping for these shortcuts we have to actually create these shortcuts so now we can just kill our current application and then we can just continue from here so what we want to do is to implement the keystroke and to get this keystroke and do something so what we can do is that before that let me do something very quick if i just want to start and quit my application i can do it in this way i can call this function and this function is going to exit the application when the update is called so we can just start and it's going to exit so but we actually want to do something here and then we can check for the keystroke so for that we need to create this like a switch case and then i'm going to explain this in a second we need to reference to do a type assertion here because it's a dynamic type and then we can switch case for if this is like um uh, t.key message then we do something so we can check again if we switch type and then here we can actually look for the keystroke so we can do like case key dot control c then we can do something here i just say hello and then um after say hello i want to just exit the application and then we can do we can call quit again and then we can call our program and then we cannot see anything on screen if you type ctrl c it's going to exit with the hello message it should say other thing than hello because you are exit but that's fine i'm going to remove this one and then next we are going to show something on screen so for that let's say hello now it's a good thing to, to do so when we start our application we can say hello and when we exit we cannot see anything because i removed the message so let's say we want to just have something very basically something very basic to show how the update work and how the model and the view uh, tie together so we can create like a counter type of init and i want to show the counter on screen and update with keystrokes up and down for example is going to increase or decrease the value so we can do like counter value here actually need to do it in this way because i need to have some inputs so counter value and then uh, this is the integer so i need to provide the model dot counter value here and then let's see what you can see on the screen right now it says counter value zero but we want to update this value so to be able to do that we just have to uh, switch case for the keystrokes so case is key up then we can um, change the value of the counter but let's say increase the increase the the counter value and then just return and do nothing in this case We actually have it here, so we don't need to duplicate this one. So let's remove it from here. It's going to keystroke up. It's going to increase the counter. And let's do the same for the key down. Key down, and then 
counter is going to decrease up and down and that cover everything so just to have a final summary so we have our main program it's going to start with some value and here you can do uh, for example you can start with 10 for example and then each of 10 and you can increase and decrease so we're moving it back again so yeah so the final overview we have this new program we have the initial values and then we start our program and it's going to loop over the updates so when you have some kind of interaction with your terminal user interface this is going to pass through here the message is a dynamic type because it can receive any type of interface then you have to check for that type of interface if that type of interface is the type of keystroke or sorry key message then you check for the message type and the message type is like control c or key up or you have uh, a long list of possibilities here it's like key something you have this whole list to check and there is a key combination etc and then you can actually do something here and increase or decrease the value in this case and this is going to update the values in our model and the model is tied to the view and the view is listening to the updates and going to update the value on screen so yeah that's cover everything that i want to show thank you